reached the pinnacle of success in the business world. In others' eyes, my life was an epitome of success. However, aside from work, I have little joy. In the end, wealth is only a fact of life that I'm accustomed to. At this moment, lying on the sick bed and recalling my whole life, I realize that all the recognition and wealth I took so much pride in have paled and become meaningless in the face of impending death. In darkness, I look at the green lights from the life-supporting machines. I hear the humming mechanical sounds. I can feel the breath of God of Death drawing closer. Now I know, when we have accumulated sufficient wealth to last our lifetime, we should pursue other matters that are unrelated to wealth. It should be something that's more important. Perhaps relationships. Perhaps art. Perhaps a dream from younger days. Non-stop pursuing of wealth will only turn a person into a twisted being, just like me. God gave us the senses to let us feel the love in everyone's heart, not the illusions brought out by wealth. The wealth that I have won in my life. I cannot bring with me. What I can bring is only the memories precipitated by love. That's the true riches which will follow you, accompany you, giving you strength and light to go on. Love can travel a thousand miles. Life has no limit. Go where you want to go. Reach the height. You want to reach. It's all in your heart and in your hands. What's the most expensive bed in the world? A sick bed. You can employ someone to drive the car for you, make money for you, but you can't have someone bear the sickness for you. Material things lost can be found, but there is one thing that can never be found when it's lost: life. When a person goes into the operating room, he will realize that there is one book that he has yet to finish reading: the book of healthy life. Whichever stage in life you're at right now. With time, we will face the day when the curtain comes down. Treasure love for your family, love for your spouse, love for your friends. Treat yourself well and cherish others. <laughs>